Aircraft carriers are no longer just floating runways they are symbols of national power, technology, and global influence. In recent years, China has taken a major step forward by introducing a new aircraft carrier catapult system, similar in concept to the one long used by the United States Navy. Today, we're breaking down China's new carrier catapult versus the U.S. Navy system, exploring how they work, what makes them different, and what this means for the future of naval aviation, and why is its catapult system such a big deal. When people talk about aircraft carriers, they often think of the United States as the undisputed leader. For decades, American supercarriers have dominated the oceans, launching powerful jets across the globe. But in recent years, a new challenger has emerged, and it has captured the world's attention. China's aircraft carrier catapult system has shocked military analysts, engineers, and governments alike. What was once considered a massive technological gap is now rapidly closing, and in some ways, China is beginning to redefine the future of naval aviation. So how did China reach this point so quickly? And why is its catapult system such a big deal? Let's take a closer look. For many years, China's aircraft carriers were seen as limited platforms. The Liaoning and the Shandong, China's first two carriers, use a ski jump ramp design. This system forces aircraft to take off under their own engine power, limiting how much fuel and weapons they can carry. While effective, ski jump carriers are widely considered less capable than carriers equipped with catapult launch systems. China's third aircraft carrier, the Fujian, marked a turning point. Unlike its predecessors, the Fujian is equipped with an electromagnetic aircraft launch system, commonly known as EMOLS. This technology is similar in concept to the system used on the U.S. Navy's Gerald or Ford-class carriers. For decades, only the United States had mastered this technology at scale. But China developed its own version from the ground up. And that's what shocked the world. Electromagnetic catapults use powerful electric motors instead of steam. This allows for smoother acceleration, reduced stress on aircraft, and greater control during launch. It also enables the carrier to launch a wider variety of aircraft, including heavy early warning planes and unmanned aerial vehicles. For China, mastering MOLs represents a massive leap in engineering capability. What makes China's achievement even more surprising is the timeline. Developing electromagnetic catapults is incredibly complex. The United States spent decades researching, testing, and refining the technology, and even then, the Ford-class carriers faced early technical challenges. China, however, moved at remarkable speed. Through heavy investment, rapid prototyping, and extensive land-based testing, China managed to deploy a working electromagnetic catapult system in a relatively short period. Analysts believe that China benefited from a combination of domestic innovation, industrial scale, and lessons learned from observing foreign programs. The result is a carrier that places China firmly among the world's top naval powers. The Fujian's catapult system also changes the type of aircraft China can operate. Previously, Chinese carriers were limited mostly to lightweight fighters. With MOLs, the Fujian can support next-generation carrier-based aircraft with greater range and endurance. This includes advanced stealth fighters, airborne early warning aircraft, and potentially unmanned combat drones. These capabilities dramatically improve situational awareness and strike coordination, key elements of modern naval warfare. In simple terms, China's carriers are no longer just symbols of prestige. They are becoming true power projection platforms. Military experts around the world quickly recognized the strategic implications. A catapult-equipped carrier allows China to operate farther from its shores, sustain longer missions, and coordinate complex air operations at sea. For neighboring countries and rival powers, this represents a fundamental shift in the balance of naval power in the Asia-Pacific region. It also sends a clear message, China is no longer content with playing catch-up. Another reason the catapult system shocked the world is what it says about China's broader technological ambitions. 
AMOLS requires advanced power generation, energy storage, precision control systems, and robust software integration. Successfully deploying it means China has mastered multiple high-end technologies simultaneously. This capability extends beyond military use. Many analysts see China's carrier program as part of a wider push into advanced engineering fields, including electric propulsion, automation, and artificial intelligence. The lessons learned from catapult systems could influence civilian industries such as high-speed rail, space launch technology, and renewable energy infrastructure. In this way, the aircraft carrier becomes more than a weapon, it becomes a platform for national innovation. What makes this development truly historic is the psychological impact. For decades, aircraft carrier catapult systems symbolized Western technological dominance at sea. China's success has disrupted that narrative. It has shown that with enough investment, focus and industrial capacity, even the most complex military technologies can be developed outside traditional power centers. This moment marks a new era of competition, one driven not just by numbers, but by innovation. Looking ahead, experts believe China is unlikely to stop with the Fujian. Future carriers may feature improved catapult systems, more advanced aircraft, and greater levels of automation. Each new step will further reshape global naval dynamics. At the same time, other nations are watching closely. China's success may inspire new carrier programs, accelerate technological development, and intensify competition on the world's oceans. The ripple effects are only beginning. In the end, China's aircraft carrier catapult system shocked the world not because it exists, but because of what it represents. It represents speed, it represents ambition and it represents a rapidly changing balance of power. As the Fujian prepares for full operational service, one thing is certain, the age of catapult-equipped Chinese aircraft carriers has begun, and the world's navies are paying very close attention. China's move to catapult-equipped aircraft carriers marks a turning point in naval history. While the U.S. Navy still leads in experience and operational depth, China's new carrier catapult shows clear ambition and rapid technological growth. The real question isn't who is better today, but how this competition will shape the future of naval power in the decades to come. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.